Alright guys, Tickle My Chode here. Welcome to the team builder for week 10 of the GDL. I'm your coach of the Carolina Quagsires. My opponent for this week is Awesome Torterra of the St. Louis Star Raptors. And his team is ridiculous. So, I'm going to be honest guys, the next two weeks, the last two weeks actually, these are the last two weeks of the GDL. Um, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not very confident in my ability to win these these last two battles but if by some miracle we win the last two i think there is a possibility of us going to playoffs i'm not 100 percent sure but i don't think it's gonna happen but god damn it i'm gonna try <laughs> so looking at this man's team his z captains are the scissor and the latios both of which could have a z crystal gotta watch out for that next he has the tapu coco the mamoswine shaman uh, land form, not uh, his flying form or whatever. Um, he's got the Vaporeon, Arcanine, Mill Tank, which could set up hazards. Um, the Registeel, which also could set up hazards. He's got the regular Metacham, um, which could be Scarfed. Gotta watch out for that. Um, he has the... Fuck, what is this thing called? Skuntank and the Tornadus. So, all around, really ridiculously scary team. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Anyway, really scary looking team, so let's get into my team. So we've got the Jellicent as our first Mon here with Taunt, Toxic, Scald, Recover. Rocking Water Absorb um, for the first time. Usually I rock Curse Body, but because I have Salazzle here, um, and he does have that Vaporeon with Scald, um, I think Water Absorb could definitely come in handy here. Um, I actually EV'd uh, Jellicent here to outspeed the Vaporeon if... He has no speed investment or if he has like four EVs in speed or something like that with like a bold nature um, so we're gonna outspeed him um, if that's the case um, other than that pretty standard uh, max HP and the rest into defense so pretty bulky set next we have faux sizzle here the salazzle um, as you'll see guys I'm actually not bringing the uh, <laughs> the Snorlax um, this is the first week of the entire GDL that I'm not bringing Snorlax, but anyway, um, we've got Faux Sizzle here with Sludge Wave, Flamethrower, Fire Blast just for like a last ditch effort, try to get a bunch of damage off, um, and Dragon Pulse there, which Dragon Pulse, honestly, it only hits the Latios, but I mean, Sludge Wave still hits it pretty hard, but anyway, Rock and Timid Nature, um, we are Speed Crypt to outspeed, uh, I believe it's the Tornadus. Um, I think that's what I was going for um, with the rest or well max special attack and the rest in HP um, choice scarf just because it outspeeds his team barring any choice scarfers um, stuff like that so next we have Bruno rocking the wish protect moonblast and flamethrower um, pretty standard set here standard smoke on spread of 252 172 84 um, into the bulk um, flamethrower obviously hits his uh, scissor so like if he's if he tries to switch in on me um, and I predict that I can just go for flamethrower that will definitely take out the scissor as it is four times weak um, if his mammoth swine does not have the thick fat it'll definitely hurt um, it also hits shaman uh, registeel and I think that's it for super effective damage moonblast mainly there for stab but it also hits the latios um, I think that's oh it also hits the, the metacham as well for super effective damage wish and protect um, just to remain healthy and I could also possibly pass wishes off to my teammates so magic guard um, I was a little torn between unaware and magic guard um, unaware would be useful for definitely for scissor but at the same time I'm not gonna want to take like iron head or like stuff like that anyway so I feel like magic guards probably the way to go especially if he sets up hazards um, so yes especially since I don't have a defogger or a rapid spinner this week so we're gonna go magic guard next we have the Kartana rocking the same set as last week the uh, Salic Berry with substitute to try to get a speed boost with leaf blade sacred sword and smart strike as my attacks pretty standard spread max max speed there wasn't really much uh, point in me trying to speed creep um, just cuz well there's like I said there's just no point in it um so the rest is obviously max attack and the rest into HP to give me an even number of HP for the substitutes. Um, yeah, pretty standard here. Leaf Blade, 
um, is the only thing that really, <laughs> honestly, Cartana is the only thing that really just flat out destroys his uh, Vaporeon. So I got to definitely keep Cartana around if Vaporeon's there. Sacred Sword hits his Mamoswine, which obviously Leaf Blade is stab. It uh, hits Mamoswine harder, but anyway, Sacred Sword also hits Mamoswine. Hits the Registeel, Mill Tank. Um, hits the Skun Tank neutrally. Hits Scizor neutrally, stuff like that. Smart Strike uh, hits the Tapu Koko, I think neutrally. I think, yeah, I think that's right. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all that's there for. And Tapu Koko is pretty frail anyway. So it would still do a decent amount. Next, we have Hariyama, which I actually had over Snorlax. Or I had Snorlax over Hariyama, but I actually decided to rock Hariyama this week. Rocking a Flame Orb Gut set with Fake Out. So that'll activate my uh, Flame Orb here. Um, and Burn Damage was nerfed this gen. It only does 6 point something percent instead of 12. Um, so I take less damage. So, Fake Out with the Flame Orb is what I wanted to go with, with Close Combat knockoff. And Ice Punch, Close Combat, uh, hits the Scizor neutrally. Super effective on the Mamo, uh, hits a lot of his team neutrally. Hits super effectively on the Mill Tank, the uh, Registeel, and neutrally on the Skun Tank. Knockoff is there for possibly his Latios. Um, of course, Ice Punch does that as well. Um, Knockoff also would come in handy against like his uh, Medicham in case we can knock off like a Scarf or something. But in general, Knockoff's a solid move for utility. And finally, Ice Punch, mainly there for the Latios, like I said, but it also hits the Shaman super effectively. And finally, wait, did I go in the EVs? Yeah, just max HP, max attack, rest into special defense with an adamant nature. Finally, we have Reuniclus rocking a Calm Mind Recover set with Psy Shock and Shadow Ball. Magic Guard once again because I have the Life Orb and I'm not going to take Life Orb Recoil every time. And pretty standard spread, 252 HP, max defense, and the rest in special defense. So all around pretty standard spread. Um, yeah, there's not much to say. I just hope I win. <laughs> um, so. If you guys like this video, leave a like, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links is always in the description below. I love you guys, and we'll get out of here. Peace out.